welcome to our channel uh, EME Technologies and please like and subscribe the channel so if you want a new update so just click on the bell icon so that you can get the latest update thank you very much Hello guys, this is Vandana from EME Technologies. Today I am going to tell you how to upload your project files to the FTP server. So first of all you need a file uh, so that you can upload your uh, project on your online server so that you, everyone can use. So I already have my project that is called online shopping project uh, which is in PHP. So I already created a zip folder for this. So first of all you need a panel. So I already have a, a domain. The next thing is just go to your panel C panel which is I already have. So I am going to ibmcore.com slash C panel. You have a C panel and uh, while you having a C panel uh, with the username and the password, I already have a username and password. So just log in. So I already have a username and password. So just go and log in. And the next step is you can see there is a C panel uh, home page. So first of all, I already have a domain, so I'm, I have to create a subdomain. So just go for the domain and click on the subdomains. So I'm going to create my subdomain. So I'm just writing here subdomain, just like I'll just give a, a online store. I'm giving my subdomain name is online store and as you can see this is your subdomain uh, whenever you want to open this site you have to use this name and create it As you can see my subdomain is uh, created so just go back the next step is just go for the home and the next step is a file manager where you have to upload your files so I'm going in a file manager and in a file manager uh, you can see that and this is uh, just go for your subdomain folder this is my subdomain folder name here i'm going to just select it and now it's showing an upload just click on the upload and select file so i'm going to select my that zip folder so i'm going to select my online shopping zip folder i am going to select it and just open it now you can see my file is start to upload it takes time to 10 to 15 minutes to upload or it's depend on the file
now my folder is uh, completely uploaded so just go to back to your home and you can see that this is a zip folder here extract this folder just click on the extract and where you want to extract is showing uh, here and extract these files and click ok but you can see that this is a folder here where all the files are extracted so just I'm going to select all my files and uh, move it from here and remove that folder so that it directly go to the my and click on home so select it and you can see that all your files will be on the di direct to the, your di directly to your main subdomain so i'm just going to delete this blank folder and as you can see my file is uploaded completely so the next step is going uh, with the database so go to the main where is your home and first of all you have to create your database mysql database and created your database name here just like i am going to create my database name is eshopper and create it and with your database you have to create a new user so I'm going to create new user go down and add a new user so I'm just writing here new username is Isha and you can create your own password or you can use the password generator for your future reference because it's completely strong so I'm going to use this after creating a generate password you have to save this password somewhere else so that uh, for the future reference you can use so I'm going to save this password over here and uh, just select it and use this password and you can see and create a user and now my user is created my database is created so the next step is going to link uh, the user with the data so you have to link with the user and the database so I'm just going down and it's showing that add user to your database so I'm going to add a user which is I already created with the eShop name and your database name is eShopper and just click on the add set with the all privileges and make changes now my all privilege is saved and I'm going back to the home now my database is ready my file is properly uploaded so you need to make some changes in your configuration file for the database so i'm going to the file manager and in the file manager go to your uh, subdomain folder uh, which is online store dot ibm core and double click on that and search for the config file 
so i already have this config file just click on that and click an editable i'm just going to click and edit and edit your folder and you can see this is a host name username and password my host uh, c panel is uh, the host name is localhost and my username is so you have to go to the main and go to the mysql database where you uh, you your username is uh, here so this is my username uh, i'm going to select this and copy uh, copy the text and paste it into your username folder so uh, username variable so and my password is i already saved on the notepad so i'm going to select this and copy this and paste it here so the next is your database name so i already have that database name is this one i'm going to copy this and go to your config file and paste it your database file name I'm going to paste it here now everything is changed and save make changes here and close this file so the next thing is I created my database my uh, and my uploaded my files but uh, I have the uh, blank database so my tables are on my folder so I'm going to upload my tables also so just go for the database and php my admin so i have that folder so i'm going for import and choose your file and select your sql file which is on my desktop online shopping and there is a database and this is my SQL file and open after opening this you have to go for a uh, click on the go and all your tables will be imported in your now as you can see your file is properly imported so I'm going to close everything and I'm set it here logout now i when i go to the browser now open your folder and write your subdomain name that is online store ibm core and just click enter as you can see now your site is online and your file is on the server anytime everyone can use uh, your file so thank you very much thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe the channel and also share this video thank you